Okay, guys, I'm going to show you guys how to cheese Bloodlord uh, Mogan using Moog Shackle. But first of all, for people who don't know where this item is or don't have it, I'm going to show you that first. Um, so you want to go to the Royal Capital and go to the Avenue Balcony. That's where we're starting. Uh, the reason I'm showing, I'm kind of showing the whole way to go down to the catacombs. And that's because I feel like a lot of people, including me, um, totally missed the whole catacombs thing. So, uh, I'm going to show you the full route to get down there and as well as where, where his, um, shackle is. So yeah, mostly you just got to sneak around these guys, um, go in between where the archer was and the dragon wing and just jump over this ledge here. Um, I almost fell right down the, the, the well. You don't want to do that cause you'll probably die. And then there's a ruin arc here you can grab. Um, as you can see, I haven't really been in here. I kind of did this all in one go. So, you're going to get to see everything that you'd have to do when you go through here. So, it takes 10 years to open a door. And then, you go to the right. Just fall down here. Because I'm a badass. I don't have to worry about fall damage that much. Okay, it's not true, as we'll see later. Yeah, make your way through these halls. I just turned on my lamp because I'm a wuss and I, I like to see in the dark. And then down here, there's some rats you're going to have to traverse. You can just, for the most part, roll through them. I just really enjoy killing them, so I had to get one swipe in there. You open up this door. Another door. The doors in this game just take seven years to open, approximately. Okay, so now we're in the shunning grounds. Now, down here, there's a lot of, like, you can see the guy down there. They're not, like, super tough. Especially at high level, but still, it's all the better just to run. And you want to go to sort of the second door on the right here. Another ladder where we're just going to combat roll down. And then out here, you got to watch out. There's these stupid gargoyle things and little weird stone people. I don't know. I, have, I haven't looked at the best area much. That guy. Oh, see you later. I haven't looked much into it, but... I'm pretty sure they're like little gargoyles. That's what they look like to me, though. So, yeah, and then there's one there. But just keep going. Just run. You can really run through this whole area. And then right here, we're going to want to fall down onto the sewer pipe just down below. Just be very careful. Watch your timing. And then right here, this is the sketchy part. Don't jump. You just want to kind of fall. Because you'll take a little bit of fall damage, but you'll be fine. Now, down here, I, my recording screwed up of actually grabbing the item. But I'll show you where it is. It's right behind... It's right there, right behind the sand lobster. So just quickly run in there and grab it. And then, yeah, you'll just want to... There's a door to the right, and that's where the catacombs are. Just grab the set of grace. Just because we're here, we might as well grab it. You know, in case you want to explore down here more later. Okay, so now that we're back to Moog, now what you want to do is equip the shackle. Use that bad boy three times. Two. Three. And for whatever reason, you traverse the mist. And this poor bastard is just helpless. He's stunned in his glory. And you can just run up to him and just kind of smack the shit out of him. Um, the only thing is, I'll warn you guys that, uh, you know, experienced Elden Ring players will know that every, um, every monster that you fight has like a stun bar where they'll fall to their knees and it just kind of builds up as you hit them. Uh, so that's why you'll notice that I'll stop hitting him periodically to keep that stun bar low because uh, if you're st if, if you actually stun him and he falls to his knees uh, the glitch is over he and he's free to just ram that gigantic spear right up your ass so you definitely want to just chill take your time and yeah you'll get an easy 500k runes um, if you're talking about the old way where people used to jump on the gravestones out there and then kind of jump into the boss arena. That has since been patched. And also another tip from me is, yeah, I just grab a pickled foot here just to boost that rune acquisition a little bit. But yeah, so people who are going to be smart and say that, well, just do the thing where you jump into the boss arena, um, they have patched that already. So we had to find a workaround. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, showing you the new way to do it since the patch and I guess we'll just have to roll with this until they 
you know, until they patch this out. So I don't, I think these cheese strategies are pretty fun. If you guys agree, leave a comment and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.